Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, November 9th, 2012. And we're very, very grateful to have in the studio with us Diamond Youth.
Diamond Youth, Audio Tree Live. Awesome, y'all. Thank you. Hey, I'm super interested to learn from you guys. You know, when you were younger, before you could make your own musical choices, what type of music was playing in your house from your mom, your dad, your brothers and sisters? What type of music were you exposed to at a young age? In my house was 80s hair metal. Yeah, like, like Poison and stuff yes, like that. Yeah. yeah. Motley Crue. My dad was in a band. Big hair, giant mustache. Metallica, dude. Zebra. Yeah, he was in a band called Metallics with an X, actually. <laughs> this is real. Really? And he got in an argument with Metallica at a bar <laughs> when Metallica was still playing bars. No way. Yeah. Cool dad. Is Metallics still together? <laughs> I wish. Are they still jamming? Do they, are there any bootlegs uh, that have, are, exist? I hope so. There's probably a tape around yeah, somewhere. Yeah, we got to hook that up. Come on, Justin. Zebra striped or something. Justin, yeah, here, yeah. let's get Racer X to support, man. Come on, let's get that Dr. on YouTube. Gilman. My dad's super into soul music. Yeah, Sam. He's very, he's a very groovy guy. Like what type of soul? Like old Sam and Dave, stuff like that? I, or Definitely Mar lots of James Brown. Yeah, man. He's in lots of soul bands. He's he's really into that. What did he play? He plays the drums. Oh, he sings. dig it! Yeah, we get together, get together with Justin's pops. You guys should get drum off. <laughs> Dad, like drum the, off. The Grateful Dead is it? Yeah, Hook dude. it up. Come on, Brandon. What what about you, man? What kind of music was in your household growing up? Just a lot of oldies, you know, like the Beach Boys, which is still in my house, you know. Yeah. Uh, I actually saw him like a month ago or something when they did that reunion tour or whatever. Oh the right. The new record it was sweet. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of oldies and stuff like that, and you know. It's so like the doo-wop stuff. A lot of Motown and doo-wop and right on. whatever, you know? Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's the base. That's the purity of it all. Yeah, it's like baby. the cornerstone. Right? Come on, Daniel. How about you, man? Music in your house growing up. Um, growing up, I feel like Jeth Jethro Tall. My mom, yeah. Jethro Tall a lot. And honestly, I don't remember a lot when I was really young. Space Jam <laughs> soundtrack and yeah. shit like that? That probably happened. <laughs> I actually know, yeah. I remember singing I Believe I Can Fly to like the repair man that would come like fix the AC at my house and stuff. I'd just walk <laughs> up to him and like sing the soundtrack even though I couldn't sing at all. Oh, bro, <laughs> that's dope. I, I don't know. No, man, don't be ashamed <laughs> of that. That's the dope <laughs> shit, dude. Come on, Danny. Oh. <laughs> you yeah. remember. Dude, I believe I can fly, man. Always sing that from the rooftops, man. It's good. It's yeah. good. We're in the studio with Diamond Youth, man. Thanks, thanks for being here, you guys. No doubt. Thanks for having us. And it's great to have you in the studio.
Diamond Youth. Diamond Youth Audio Tree Live. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> Hook it up, Brian. Everybody look at me. Hey, I'd love to hear about a very memorable day from tour for you guys. From this I, tour? From any tour. I know there's always a bunch of those days that stick out, but I'm wondering if there's a day or two that y'all like to share with us about a beautiful day that you had on the road. Maybe the day we couldn't make it down for the storm. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> a was a non-existent like, day. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to start this day in South Carolina. And then we just kind of sat in a diner just talking to different people, getting like different reports about the hurricane. What? And they're all conflicting. We talked to all of our dads. Yeah. All we the got dads dad advice were and they different. were like, I wouldn't go down to South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> we right? assessed it all and decided yeah. we couldn't go. Okay, so you how did so you just miss of, did you miss one show? Is yeah, we it? missed the first day. And the New York show got canceled too. And then how about you yeah. see New York, yeah. Okay. Okay. But other than that, it's been a fantastic tour. <laughs> not not too bad. Now when you guys are in the ride, who who gets to DJ? Who gets to decide who plays the songs? We switch it up. Whoever's driving usually gets to yeah. decide. Yeah. That's yeah. often the case, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now do you guys get skips or do you guys have DJ names or any of that stuff? <laughs> Like if some like let's say Brandon's playing something that you know you don't want to hear, are you allowed to skip it or is that not the? Nah, he's got to suck it up. I mean, if I'm playing, if he's playing something I don't like, he's got to like yeah, right. come up then with I, another idea. Yeah. Oh like, no, we should try this out. I'm pretty much the boss of the band, you know, <laughs> so I, it's basically whatever I want to listen to. Really. Yeah, you're like the Springsteen of the group. Yeah, right on. Yeah, so we we just kind of follow his lead. Um, yeah. Cause we, I'm the backbone, you know what I mean. Yeah. I hit the, I'm the drummer. We so. have some ideas, right. and we kind of run them past Brendan, and he kind of just, you know, makes the choices. What he says goes. Hell's know? yeah! And if shit gets fucking shady, he just takes off his shirt and shit gets right. yeah, it's it's scary. Settled. Yeah, it's, fine. Yeah, it's <laughs> real. Dope. It's happening. Dope. <laughs> We're in the studio with Diamond Youth. It's dope having you here, y'all. Thanks for coming out. What if we played a new song right now? if we did that. If we did that, I'm down. Here we go.
Diamond Youth. Audio Tree Live Chicago. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, check out this one, you guys. If they were going to make a film about each one of your lives, each one of you were going to have a film made about you by either Hollywood or independent. It could be any type of film you want. Who would you want to portray you, and what would the title of the film be? Like an actor or just... Well, it can be a famous actor or it can be, an, you know, a star. It can be, you know, your imagination is, is, the, is the bridge here. That's hard. Mm. So, like, just to start it, I would be Philip Seymour Hoffman and the oh, name nice. of my movie would be Be Where You Are. I want to be... <laughs> I'm just thinking of people with pompadours. Elvis. Bam. So you want Elvis? Like. Who do I look like? You tell me. You, you could go. You could go a little Brian Seltzer. I've heard that. the guy from La Bamba. <laughs> I think you go. Brian Seltzer. You could be. Uh, you could be Andy Garcia. Okay. Okay. Or uh, yeah, Lou Diamond Phillips. Is that who you're yeah, talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lou Diamond Phillips. Um, people have told me that I resemble like Mark Wahlberg in like a couple ways. Yeah. Mostly my voice and like personality. Um, Dope, dude. It'd probably be called the Trials and Tribulations of Bad Dog. Bad dog. Because that's like my like stage name, so. Dude. Yeah. So. That's like a Native American biopic, dude. That yeah. shit's epic, dude. I, it would be a pretty dense film <laughs> with lots of like peaks and valleys. Ups so, and yeah. yeah. The highs and lows. Right? roller coaster. I think uh, Joaquin Phoenix might play my role. Yeah. And it'd be, uh, you know, a dark romance <laughs> called um, Caught in the Web. Yeah. Um, like a love triangle, maybe something like that. Yeah, but like really dark and uh, a lot of romance. Tons of dark. Romance. Like Blood Simple, the Coen Brothers first one. Yeah, 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 like that. And uh, yeah. Natalie Portman would be in it too. She'd be my lover. So. Hey, now you're thinking. I'm like, yeah, there you go, dude. And Kesha would be like a background actor, actress. Right, she'd be an extra supporting yeah. actress. Yeah, like yeah. at the party. <laughs> Could you play yourself? Yeah, it was so, if you want, you can you play, play myself. Just play too. yourself, dude, if yeah. Natalie's No, I'd be... Oh, well, then forget it. I mean, yeah. Joaquin Phoenix would play me, and I'd just be a backup, you know? Joaquin would just do the flashbacks of you. You would be like... Yeah, you'd still yeah. hook yeah, up yeah, with yeah. Natalie. Yeah. 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 Come on, Daniel. That's what about you, man? What, what's your movie? Who's your actor? Probably Jet Li. Yeah. I'm not saying I resemble him in, in any, any way, no, but dude. he's awesome. Yeah, no, he's I've got your bag, dude. So so what would the name of the movie be? I don't know. It would be about dogs for sure, because I love dogs. He yeah. definitely wouldn't be fighting them, but there would be fight scenes. And With the like, dogs. They, on his side. Crew. Yeah, like fighting bad guys. Yeah. 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 We could be, name, it could though. be like Daniel and the Junkyard Dogs or something Ooh, like that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I like Spikes in Boston. That's a great restaurant, and they definitely have some Junkyard Dogs, so... We can tie it all together in some way. Like, <laughs> We're connecting dots here, man. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Thank you guys for sharing on such a crazy question. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, love it. <laughs>
Hi. Shibuya! Hells yeah! All right, you guys. We've, we've meandered our way to the psychoanalytical portion of the session. And I asked your, your mates earlier the same question, so I'm going to propose it to you so y'all can have some fun things to talk about in catering. Okay. If you had to choose a life form other than human being, what life form would you choose to be? Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Fantasy or science fiction? I was just talking about this. Yeah, Justin. And I would choose dog. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a because wonder... Because they have friends. A uh, like a house pet. I am a dog? A house sure, dog? Sure, yeah. yeah. Like a well-taken-care of animal. Yeah. Or one that travels in a purse and gets carried around. <laughs> right? The little Pampered. mini dogs, the toy dogs or whatever. <laughs> what are you, are you partial to any breed? Are you a type of dog? What's your dog, Brendan? I want to be that. Yorkie. Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. The tiniest little creature yeah. you've ever seen. Nice. Makes me think of Best in Show. Have you ever seen that? <sighs> Classic stuff. Yeah, it's a good one. Yorkshire yeah. Terrier. Yeah. I think the problem with the dog is that so much depends on the owner, you know? Yeah, they mm. could try to, like, hook up with you some or something. People, <laughs> some people use dogs for things, you know? Like, you. There's, there's guys out there that get dogs just to bring to the park just to talk to girls. Yep. Like, that's why they bring them. I'm fine with that. And that's a miserable existence to be a tool <laughs> to meet girls, you know? Right on. And, you know, you get, you're getting attacked at the dog park, <laughs> getting bullied while, like, this, this guy is, like, talking to the girls. And, yeah. You know? All right, so, Sam, you're not a dog. <laughs> no. So what, what, what do you reckon you would be? Okay. Probably, be like, a monkey or something. Because yeah. I don't, like, I want to be away from people, just doing my own thing. Yeah. In the canopy. Up in the trees yeah. and stuff, hanging out. Mm -hmm. Picking the bugs off of your loved ones and stuff. Yeah, there's not any big agenda, but if you need to go somewhere, you can move around. You're not in a room all day. Big time. I think if you're a dog, it's a little more hopeless, you know? <laughs> like, if you have a big agenda, you're not going to be able to do it. Yeah, no, a dog is sleeping, eating, you know. Yeah. And that's not me. Chill that personally. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. I mean, that's what we're learning here. You're dropping science. All right, Brendan, how about you? I'd probably be a dolphin. Yeah. Explore the... Underworld, yeah. underwater world, and uh, I just found out a fact the other day that <laughs> dolphins rape people. Actually, not that I would want to do that, but that's it's, totally why. it's a fact. That well, yeah, they're one of the few animals that actually has sex other than to procreate. No, yeah, but they actually have raped humans before. I think there's like 14 cases a year. Oh shit! Yeah. I think I saw that on King of the Hill or something. Yeah, I heard it so. Uh, Can't do it in real life, so you gotta be a dolphin. So I, you know, I, I, I would look out for my, you know, fellow dolphins, make sure they weren't doing that. Right. <laughs> You'd be like dolphin police. Yeah, I'd be the dolphin <laughs> police, but yeah, I'd like to be a dolphin. Yeah, no, dolphins are beautiful. They say they're smarter than humans, for yeah. real. So. Yeah. Hence the rape. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Take that back. How about you, Daniel? What about you? Life form other than human, man? I don't know. Uh. I'd probably be a centaur. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be real fast, you know? Fuck yeah, dude. That's sweet. Have cool hair, like, <laughs> as a tail. And um, I don't know. I feel like I, I'd have a lot of friends if I was a centaur. Big time you would, dude. <laughs> I hope so. I hope people wouldn't try to kill me so they could, like, be famous Who for Who would want to kill you, dude? Everybody would want to be your friend, and then they want to get on your back yeah. and check it out. Oh, that's true. That'd be pretty cool. I still think people want to kill me. Though. No, <laughs> don't even put it out there, dude. It's love. Nothing but love. All right, yeah, hopefully. Centaur, dude. I love it. It's <laughs> good stuff. Sweet. I didn't think of mythical creatures. Yeah, nice. oh, yeah. You got it all here. Thanks for being here, you guys. It's wonderful yeah, to man. have you in the studio today. I think we just Thank have you. one more, right? Yep. Right on. Right on. Congratulations, too, on your uh, EP coming out here in January, too, you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Everybody needs to get up on that orange. Yeah. Look it up. Heck yeah. yeah. Big shout to Top Shelf Records there. I hooked that up for oh, you yeah. guys. Yes. Yeah, baby. Here we go. All right, yeah. More? I'm gonna do an old one. Let's do
first time driving home Cause it ain't my first time driving Justin, Sam, Daniel, Brendan, thank you guys so much for coming in today, yeah, man. Thank, thank you guys you. so much. Everybody in Chicago, come to the Beat Kitchen tonight. They're up there playing with the Swellers. Mm -hmm. Pentimento. Pentimento. Yep. And you guys are in Detroit tomorrow night. You guys got some nice shows in December. You guys want to fill us in about those a little bit? Yes. Yes. Playing with Braid. And Into, and into it, it Over. It over it. <laughs> Together. And Cut Teeth. It's three holiday shows. They haven't been announced yet, technically. Here it is. World premiere, this right? This is here. the world premiere <laughs> Audio announcement. Show, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks again. Let's give a big shout to our videographers today, Brian, Justin, Jane, and Megan. Thank always you. on point. Our engineers, Patrick and Jake, Michael, Adam, Kellen, Lauren thanks. in the house. Thank Caleb. You. Thank you, Caleb, the crew. Luke. Everybody who makes it run for you guys, let's give them a oh, shout, gosh. too. Awesome day, Woo. you guys. Thanks again. We've had a double session today here at Audio Tree Live. Pentimento Diamond Youth. It's been a beautiful day. Thanks again. This has been Audio Tree Live for Friday, November 9th, 2012. We've been in the studio with Diamond Youth. My name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a very safe and a very beautiful day. Treat each other right, y'all. Good night. Woo. Yeah. All right now. DJ. All right now.